It's time for the Thursday Night Pep Rally, sponsored by the Montana Club. Hey everyone, I'm Derek Berkeley here on another Thursday night pep rally. I'm here with the Loyola Rams this week. We've got two games left in the regular season. They're both big ones this week. They take on Big Fork. I turned now to Braden Beck and uh, offensive lineman and defensive lineman on this team. Braden, uh, you get to this point of a week, you're get closing in on that Friday night kickoff. What's the feeling like right now? Uh, it feels really great. Uh, coming off of the progress of Anaconda, we've really picked up some momentum. So we've progressed onto that and we're hoping we can really turn it on tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. These uh, You guys have made some strides as the season's gone on. The offense has got progressively scoring a little bit more and a little bit more. How, how are you feeling about the way you're playing right now? Uh, you know, we've I've switched around on the whole line the last week. It's, uh, it's really benefited the team, and I think uh, going in, we're going to do really well in the season. So. All right, with two games left, like I said, now turning to... Curtis Williams here, an offensive lineman, defensive lineman as well. And Curtis, uh, Big Fork this week, they're undefeated. Uh, obviously, when you play a team that's doing well like that, it gives, gets you a little more excited. How much are you looking forward to tomorrow night? Oh, it's it's a big game for sure. They are undefeated, and uh, we uh, we're hoping to bring it home. We've, it's been a while since we had a home game, and so this home crowd is gonna get wild, and we hope to be here for them. These guys, and then Florence is always a big rival next week. So, how much can you guys still kind of accomplish what you want here in these last two weeks before the playoffs start? Oh, it's definitely still wide open. I mean, if we come out here and we put a full game together tomorrow night, and same next week, we're uh, we're moving. All right. Well, good luck, Curtis. Now, Thanks. turning to head coach Todd Hughes as well on the team. And Todd, um, this team, you know, you, you had a couple losses early, but now you're starting to build some things. And then you look at the chances that you have here with these games. How excited are you for what this team can do? Oh, I'm extremely excited. I'm as excited as I was at the beginning of the season. You know, we started off with a heck of a pre uh, preseason. It told us where we were at, where our measuring stick was, and you know, we've progressively gotten better. So I think tomorrow, the next uh, couple of weeks, will tell a lot. This team was in that state championship game last year. What does it take with this group? What are you going to need out of these guys to to make a run like that again? You know, it's just everybody doing their job individually and then coming to, together collectively as a football team. And I think that we kind of made that stride last week. I, we put 48 minutes of really good, efficient um, offense, um, hard physical defense, and so it's all coming together. All right, well, good luck to the Rams. That's against Big Fork again at 7 o'clock here at Rollin Field tomorrow. It's one of many games we'll be paying attention to on Sports Extra. It's a huge night for high school football. Big Sky and Sentinel had big games on the road. Flathead Glacier still in the playoff race. We've got undefeated Charlotte hosting undefeated Drummond Phillipsburg. Huge game between Frenchtown Hamilton. It's all going to be covered on Sports Extra during the 10 o'clock news tomorrow night. Now, of course, we're on a little early for your news tonight because Thursday night football is back on CBS. A good one on tap with the Eagles and Panthers, both 4-1. and one. The pregame show kicks off right after our news. Basketball season is just around the corner, and the Big Sky announced their preseason awards today. As Montana State junior Tyler Hall is the he's picked MVP. The junior guard scored over 23 points per game last season. Montana guard Ahmad Rory, the junior, was one of six selections to the all-conference team, and the preseason polls come out tomorrow. As for these guys, they're going to be taking on Big Four. You guys ready to take on the Vikings tomorrow? <laughs> So always a great place to watch a football game at Rollin Field. That wraps up your pep rally. We'll be back after this. <laughs>